Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Eco Engineering. This is your host Chia Leilipur. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to work with Martingale strategy. Martingale strategy is some unique strategy, which is, uh, as you can know, which is uh, suggested by many traders for not using it. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use it and uh, teach you when you're using it, which type of risks you are doing and uh, how to minimize the risk that you are doing. If this is your first time watching our channel, in this channel we teach you different strategies regarding trading in cryptocurrency, forex and stocks markets. If you are interested in this subject, I will really appreciate if you hit subscribe button uh, and uh, the bell button. So whenever we upload new video, you will receive a notification. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, press hit the like button. So YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in this topic. Uh, at the beginning, I'll briefly explain the Martingale strategy and then I explain how I programmed it. And then uh, we backtest the code that I have implemented for Martingale strategy and we see the backtest result. And then I will t tell you how to use Martingale strategy to minimize your whole risk because the most important thing about Martingale strategy, which you should know from the beginning, is that when you are using Martingale strategy, you are actually risking the whole your balance. If I open uh, <clears throat> MetaTrader here, if our balance is, for example, 53,000 euro, normally I suggest you to just risk 1% of your balance for each trade. But you should know that when you are using Martingale strategy, actually you are risking a high percentage of your balance, around 70%, 80% of your balance based on the restrictions that you, the broker, the broker put on your account and the leverage that you have. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay with me to the end. Okay, how does this strategy work? Uh, I wrote it very simple. Uh, we have a 21 moving average and the price in one hour time frame. Whenever the price cross the moving average 21 to the up, up to the upside, then we open a buy order. And whenever it crosses it to the downside, we open a sell order. Then after opening a buy order, for example, here in this point, when we open a buy order, but the price did not go in our favor, instead of closing the uh, order after going down, for example, for 50 pips, 50 points or 5 pips, we open another buy order. But if the first order is, for example, uh, one lot, this one would be two lot. And then we wait if we again, the price didn't goes in, it didn't go in our favor and it goes down after 50 points, we open another order two times greater than the second value, second uh, lot size. For example, if here uh, it is one lot, this one would be two and this one would be four. And we do it until the price, for example, reach this point and here one lot, two lot, four lot, and then for example here 3.2 lot, and then it just a little goes back, a little. And then if it goes back and it go and, and the whole open orders or our equity goes five thousand dollar in profit then we close all open order we do it uh, as you may notice uh, to this point we are we we don't have unlimited money so after a while we cannot open order anymore and, and this is the very important point of Martingale strategy, the point that the broker does not let you any further order, which it is very risky. It may not happen a lot or may, maybe it just happen once per year, but it is happening. This unlikely statistics happen in the market. So we practice this strategy for this purpose. We first open strategy tester, strategy tester here and I have already programmed Martingale strategy 
here by using MQL4 language. Martingale, it's usually, it is written with A L E, but I wrote it with E because I don't want it to be mixed with the real Martingale strategy that I have written and I used by myself. So this is the code and uh, we add it to strategy tester. We test it and see, uh, so first, we, you, we must notice that we start the expert advisor with 100,000 euro US dollar and it is allowed to go for buy and sell positions both of them it is used in one hour time frame and now I want to backtest this strategy from the 1st of July to this day and it is about uh, three months three uh, months and one day I start it and I open a clean template see when it cross moving average 21 to the uh, to downside it open a sell order with one with 0 0.1 lot and then when uh, the price didn't go in our favor after 50 points uh, 50 points or five pips it opens a new order with and dub with double the first lot size one lot one zero point one lot zero point two lot and then it goes and at the and for the eighth uh, order the lot is six point four lot and when the price goes back and it goes in uh, in profit by five thousand dollar it close or open orders and it do continue to do that and i uh, fast forward the video you can see it but i just fast forward the video because i don't want it to i don't want the time of the video be a lot okay the back testing is over we see the results first this is the open orders we can see all of them uh, and the graph as you can see the price just going high and uh, we started with one hundred thousand dollar and after three months it gains one hundred eighty thousand dollars and uh, the total trades is uh, three hundred thirty five uh, the maximum drawback everything everything related to this strategy is here it's very good strategy yes because we gained uh, we gained more than 180 percent in three months and it is perfect but uh, remember that it can be very dangerous because uh, if I goes back after when we back tested back tested it if I just zoom out in this point we reached to the some points which it couldn't open any other order because it has already opened one two three four five six seven orders and because of the leverage and because of the restrictions that the broker put on our account it was not allowed to open any or more orders and we were lucky because uh, the our account was not margin called and it goes back and when we went into five thousand dollar profit it closed all open orders but but it could go higher and of, when it goes higher we would be margin called and we will we would lose about 80 percent of our balance we, we can test it too for example here in our code instead of putting in risk one uh, zero point uh, one percent of our uh, balance i say just put one percent of our account into risk so if i start the strategy tester again if i just press start and open a clean It is very dangerous, for example, here, see? 
Okay, see, you saw it. It opened some orders, but the price didn't go back in our favor. And because we put a lot of our money at risk in the first order, then the broker didn't let us to open any more orders. So the price goes high, high, and we go in profit, but suddenly it drops and it loses a lot of money. If I ch we check the order, we started with 100,000 uh, euro, but we lost $81,000. $81,000. We uh, even if I check, for example, here, uh, we reached $125,000. We were in profit by $25,000, but suddenly we be, uh, we become margin call and we lost a lots of money okay in the next chapter in the next section i will uh, show you what i do to not being margin call there is a heat debate between those who are in favor of martingale strategy and those who are against them some people say that this martingale strategy is miracle and it, you can make a lot of money with it but some other say that you should not absolutely use it but I disagree with both of them. I think we can use Martingale strategy and when we know which type of risk we are doing and we can minimize this risk. But remember, you just minimized it. You do not delete the whole risk. The risk would be always there. Okay, how to make Martingale efficient? We want to use Martingale as efficient as possible. The first thing that I do and I think it's very important is first order with very low lot size 0.1 percent of your balance at risk it means the optimum lot size for the first order should be 0.1 percent of your balance if you don't know how to calculate the lot size the, the optimum lot size I will uh, leave the link to the video that I explained it here but it means that the first order should be open in a way that when it reached to the stop loss you only lose one zero one point one percent of your balance it's very important because if you start the first order with very high light lot yes you you profit much faster but in each iteration when new order is open then the lot size of new order would be very high and it increased the risk of being margin call a lot and it multiplied it so in order to avoid it it's very important to open the first order with only less than 0.1 percent of your whole balance the second important thing is that to close all open order after a reasonable a reasonable profit uh, if you remember here I said when it goes back after going to going in profit by five thousand dollar close it it's about five percent of my balance but i suggest you to even close all orders after even two percent when when you went into the profit by two percent of your lots uh, by two percent of your balance then take out your profit constantly what does it mean for example i start with one hundred thousand dollar and i am reached to one hundred thousand $125,000, you should take out the $25,000 that you gained and never use it in the Martingale again because we don't want to use lose it. We just want to take the profit out. In the first uh, strategy test that we test Martingale, we, we gain about 180% of our first investment. But if we don't just take them out, we are always risking that we lose even the profit that we made so i highly suggest and recommend to take out your profit constantly and last but not least use martingale not for your whole money if you are for example uh trading with one hundred thousand dollar one million dollar do not use martingale strategy for all of this money for example if you have $100,000, don't use Martingale strategy for the whole $100,000. Use 
and the other strategies for $90,000 and only use Martingale strategy for $10,000 and 10% 10 of your whole uh, balance because this Martingale strategy is not an entering into the market strategy. We don't use Martingale strategy to enter the market. We use Martingale strategy to exit the market and close the orders. It's very important. When we are using Martingale, it means that we enter the market incorrect. The logic behind entering the market was not correct. We were wrong. So we just want to close the order with profit. And that's why we are using Martingale strategy. So again, the last section is very important. Never ever use Martingale for your whole money. Okay. Uh, I hope you learned how to use Martingale strategy. This is the way that I use Martingale strategy. If you suggest better solution to make Martingale strategy efficient, please leave me a comment. Uh, I will read them. And if you have any suggestion for upcoming video, please again leave the, leave uh, leave me a comment. I will read it and consider it for upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you have a good day. Goodbye.